everyone, uh, welcome to the second uh, video for the Leeds Art Gallery project in response to the Natural Encounters exhibition. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create a fun mark making piece using objects and paints. We'll be using our collage surfaces uh, from the last video as well. And here are some really good examples from the mark making workshops that I've been running over the past few weeks. Uh, we've got these lovely things that have been sent in by one of our regular um, attendees, as well as this gallery wall. Now, I haven't put all the pieces up, but these are actually pieces that have been sent to me in the post by people or by participants of the workshops. Um, so I thought I would create a nice gallery wall or DIY kind of space where we can show some work. So this project that I'm doing now with you really does link on to this idea of interaction and virtual workshops. And that is really something that I've been looking at over the past few months. Here are some examples as well that I'm going to show you. So this, they're quite small in, in relation to what we're doing now, but they're just using things like envelopes. As you can see, they've got some writing on the back of some stamps just using collected envelopes, so things that I just received in the post over the past few weeks. Um, and I've just collaged them together in different ways, like we did in the last video. But then I've explored with different objects and thought about mark making and different things to apply on there. And I've got another one here just using packaging and newspaper and a really good uh, creative response to to the mark making that we're going to be doing today. Uh, the ones that I've made earlier using collected envelopes, collected packaging and different things. Now my creative practice is very interactive and looks at my relationship with the materials and objects and the work is more about the process and the experience of playing with materials rather than the finished product. Uh, product sorry. So it's very much about the experience that you have versus the finished outcome. And I would like to invite you all to create with me and make something using found objects. These can be domestic items or objects that you've collected on a daily walk. And think about the history of these items and their relationship to the natural world. Now, this activity is for any age groups. So just focus on the activity of play and the idea of just being free with the materials and being creative. Now, the objects that I'm using today include things like nail brushes, combs, uh, wooden spoons. I've got some plastic cups here um, a metal whisk, uh, a spatula. And then just to go along with the theme of recycling, I've got some toilet roll tubes. I've got some tennis balls, some golf balls, and I've got some sensory balls as well, which make some really nice textures. And I've got a palette knife. Uh, some paint brushes, some paints and some sponges. Now my paints have already been poured into the palette as you can see here and um, I've got another one over here as well so you can just see that I've already poured the paints out in advance but you can also use paper plates as well for this so don't worry too much about having all the equipment and everything um, and really think about the textures so I've just chosen objects like sponges and things with bristles on. So different things that will make some really interesting textures and marks on the surface. Now behind me, you can see that a lot of people have used things that make rings. So like plastic cups, toilet roll tubes, that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to invite you now to get creative and experiment with these objects. Uh, so I think we're going to get started. Now I've got two of my collage pieces. So I'll just show you in this video how to make one mark making piece um, using a few simple techniques and different paints. I'm just going to put these uh, to one side. Now don't worry too much about having, about not having all the materials and everything, you know, just work with what you've got. So whether that's things that are from inside the house or things that you've collected, um, and really think about found objects as well, because the artist that I was looking at um, at the Leeds Art Gallery, uh, Takahashi, um, I talked about her in the first video that I did, the little intro, 
where she makes large installations, large sculptural installations using found objects, collected objects, um, usually either by herself, by others, um, or from charity shops. So again, a very collective inquiry into using found objects and what you can do with them. So here we are using objects, but in a different sense, we're using them to create something. And we're using our collage backgrounds from the second video that, uh, that we did. All right, so I'm just going to get started by getting my palette out. And I think we're going to first start with the nail brush. So I've got three out here. And what I'm going to do is just dab the brush gently into the blue paint. So you can see it's nicely covered. And I'm just going to make a few marks. Dabbing it gently onto the surface. And maybe adding some rubbing as well to just rub it. And it'll kind of blend blend together nicely. Um, another good material to use is the comb. Now the comb makes some really good um, kind of textures and really nice uniform lines. So again, this idea of chaos and order, control chaos. I feel like these abstract pieces look quite chaotic, but the thinking behind them is very controlled and in a sense that when we're applying these objects and materials to the surface, it is a very controlled approach and process. I'm just going to dab a few of these yellow marks uh, onto the surface. And again, think about um, how these different objects and different colours that you're using look on these different surface areas because i know we've got one big surface but we've compiled different things to make a collage with so again just think about the materials that we've used and what it looks like although that is not the main focus i should, I should stress but just think about what it looks like i've also got a little ball like a little tennis ball on some string here i'm just going to bounce into the paint and then I'm just going to bounce on the surface and as you can see gradually over time all the colours will start to mix together so again this idea of layering and the work developing as we progress through this activity the work's developing and we're applying more objects and create different textures on and more colours as well so again if you are into your colours very much like myself then think about different colours that you can use as well and just getting on to packaging as well um i'll show you one thing that was sent to me by one of the participants in my workshop they actually packaged the work up inside this that they've decorated and then they fold it together to make something that they could send their work within. So really think about this idea of packaging um, and different surfaces in relation to the activity of mark making and using different paints and different colours and different objects. I'm just going to carry on with my tennis ball. I might get some more paint as well. And just carry on making different marks and stuff on the surface. I'm also going to move over as well to my um, light blue in this palette because I do quite like I do quite like the colour in there. So I'm just going to carry on making some nice, um, easy marks on the surface. Maybe think about kind of spinning the ball around a bit as well to make some really quick marks as well and then watch it unravel and then you can just do something like that on the surface just to kind of blend it together so really think about different ways in which you're applying these materials now i've also got a wooden spoon here and i've got my spatula that i can use i'm just going to apply some red paint to the spatula i think and you can see it's just gone inside the different marks and then we can just start creating some different prints and stuff on the surface so really 
just thinking about these materials and just creating different marks and just being really free with what you're using. I quite like this comb as well that I've used here. Now I'm going to move on to my toilet roll tube again. So already if I just hold part of it up, already you can see quite a few marks, some interesting marks developing on the surface, which is great. And I'm just going to apply some purple to the bottom of my toilet roll tube. And if I just do some up here, you can see a few of those marks kind of developing. Now these videos that I've been making for uh, the project, well in response to the project, um, will also accompany with a photographic series as well. So you'll be able to see some photographs of things that I've made um, during, during this time as well. And it would be really great if you could get involved. So maybe watch these videos and make along with me. That would be really, really great. And just think about where you're getting these materials from so the history that they've got so maybe you're going on a daily walk and you've got an ex you're having an experience for yourself and then you're collecting these things as well so the, the history of that material would be that it's been collected during a walk and then think about what you've done on that walk and um, so again just adding a bit of context to um to the material and to the journey of it I quite like this colour that I'm using. So again, I'm just going back to the tennis ball and just dabbing it on the surface in different areas. And I've also got a really nice pink as well in my palette that I can use. So think about some really creative things that you can collect as well. So whether that's things from outside like twigs or bark or branches or more domestic style objects. So again, think about that. Now I quite like this tennis ball, but I'm going to use one without string. So again, just dabbing it on the surface and it's almost like a sponge, isn't it? So it's a very spongy kind of material. So I'm just showing you a few simple mark making techniques and different ways to apply paint to a surface. Now this is the creative bit that I quite like. I'm going to go with my black paint and I've got a whisk. So it reminds me of Jackson Pollock's work as well. Um, only probably not using a whisk for, for mark making. So I'm just going to dab it gently in there and then just simply just flick the paint. And if you haven't got enough on like me, then just go for more and just keep flicking it on the surface. And then I quite like the, the nice sound of the paint splattering as well. I do, I do quite like that. There we are. I think when you start doing action painting on the work as well, it, it starts to look busy, the work, um, appearance wise. So again, like I mentioned before, think about that term controlled chaos. You know, what, what does it mean? So in a sense, we are creating some quite detailed marks, um, but it looks quite abstract and chaotic. So again, what does that mean for the work and what does that mean for you creating it? For me, the, the brighter the piece and the more abstract the piece, the more I've enormously enjoyed it. So it feels quite energetic and again, really free just to experiment in different areas of the work. And also this um, collage kind of approach to it makes the surface look really irregular, really different and very unique in terms of that versus just using a piece of white card. So again, think about different ways in which you can um, create some surfaces. So if you didn't manage to watch the other video that I did, then please go and have a look and check it out. And for me, I'm experimenting with scale as well. So I've gone for some very large um, surfaces just using a few things like padded envelopes bubble wrap brown paper um but again really making a varied 
selection of materials kind of come together as one, which is quite fun. And looks really great as well. I know I know it's not all about um the appearance of it, but they do look really good together as well as the different colours and the textures that we're using. And it is quite experimental as well, so think about different ways in which you can experiment with these materials. Now I'm just going to go back to my nail brush and my blue paint and I'm just going to start applying some more marks here. So if I just hold the surface up now, you can see already that I've started experimenting and using a lot more colours on my work. There we are. If I just hold up what I've done, just to give you a bit of an idea of what things you can use and how to do it. There we are. Now in this video I focused on colour and using quite a varied selection of materials. So I've used the whisk, the nail brush, the tennis ball, um, I've used the comb and I've used the toilet roll tube. But there are plenty of other materials that you can use, such as pastry cutters, golf balls, sensory balls, just ordinary paint brushes, maybe some sponges. Um, and these plastic cups again work really well. And possibly even a wooden spoon. You know, I've gone out and I've bought quite a good selection of materials, all from I think Wilco's or, or something. So fairly, fairly cheap things. And you can also go to Poundland or something just to get some really th good things to experiment with. So just think about where you can source your materials from. And if you want to use collected objects as well, then then that, that, that will be really good. Now, um, this is the end of the video, I think. Uh, but please get involved and send in your pieces to either the Leeds Art Gallery page via email or tag their Instagram. Um, all mark making videos will appear on my YouTube channel. So Designs Holly Eva, so capital D, capital H and capital E. Uh, thank you so much for joining in as well. It's been um, a pleasure to be able to show you my practice and my work. Um, and remember, these works can be created in any space, so indoors or outdoors. So really think about your relationship to those spaces. Um, think about what materials and objects and things you can use to create the surface and the mark making. And this, these could be participatory works, so you could work with others and include any objects you want. So maybe you want to go on a collective walk with your friends and then create in your back garden, then that would be really, really cool. So just think about objects, space, um, and what materials you can use to create the surface. So very much about recycling, repurposing. Um, and if you do get a chance to check out the Natural Encounters exhibition, then I think it will be on the internet. There'll be a virtual tour. And check out Tomoko Takahashi, um, the artist that I was looking at. 